Good morning everyone welcome to SSB crack exams i am sakshi and in this session we are about to discuss the daily current affairs as on 14th july 2020 so before beginning as i always tell you if you are preparing for defense exams ssb crack is best for you it is a one stop solution for for all the defense related exams like cds nda afcat territorial army for more details please visit our website ssbcrackexams.com they will find the entire package of courses mock tests quizzes and study materials you can also follow us on our social media platforms instagram twitter facebook and telegram do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel download our mobile app from google play store Okay guys so let's start with the question of the day so i asked you yesterday so the question was what are lok adalats and what is the reason for their establishment so lok adalats which are also known as people's court they are one of the alternative dispute redressal mechanism and when we talk about lok adalat they work on the principle of gandhian principle okay they work on the gandhian principles and uh, it is a forum where disputes or cases pending in the court of law or at the pre litigation stages are settled and compromised amicably so lok adalas they have been given statutory status under legal service authority act 1987 please remember this so under lok adalats the decision which is made by lok adalats is deemed to be decree of a civil court please remember that that and this decision will be final and binding on all the parties and no appeal against such an award lies before any court of law so now let's talk about what were the reasons for the establishment of lok adalat so the first and the foremost is article 39a which says that citizens of india are entitled to equal justice and free legal aid and a legal system of the country was not able to deliver this promise hence the parliament has enacted this law that is legal services authorities act 1987 and it is to create a national state and district level authorities to establish lok adalats the second reason being need for the speedy justice okay india was in need for the speedy trials so there was no strict application for like of procedural laws like civil procedure code or evidence act while assessing the claims by lok adalat so the next important reason to establish lok adalat was to clear the massive backlog of pending cases in the indian judicial system so guys this was all about lok adalat let's move ahead with the first article that we have today so the first news is uh, supreme court has given its decision recently regarding the disabled uh, people so it said that disabled are now entitled to same benefits of scs and sc quota so supreme court of india has observed that the person suffering from disabilities they are also socially backward and hence entitled for same benefits of relaxation as the, uh, as the, those are given to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe candidates for the public employment and education So let's talk about the provisions for the SC and ST tribes, which are already there. So uh, these are mainly prescribed in under two articles. Like uh, uh, first in Article fifteen four, the it says that states shall make uh, special provisions for the establishment of SCs and STs. Example uh, like providing free concession in admission to any education institutions, etc. And Article fifteen five. it says the provision for the reservation of sc and sts for uh, like in the educational institutions or in other places now it is important to talk about the right of a person with disability act so persons under this persons with disabilities are provided reservation of seats in government higher educational institution and not less than 5% and government jobs which is not less than 4% so this provision is already there for the disabled uh people uh, and for the disabled persons but now supreme court has entitled the same benefits of sc and st quota to the disabled people moving ahead next article is nath grid it has signed a memorandum of understanding with ncrb that is national crime bureau uh, record bureau and this is to access the databases that links police stations so a uh, national intelligence grid grid it has signed the mou with ncrb now uh, now they are going to assess the centralized online crime and uh, criminal tracking network and system that is cctns and the database of getting details for first 
information reports that are FIRs or the stolen vehicles. So this operation will be operational by 31st December 2020. And uh, when we talk about CCTNS database, it is a platform that links around 14,000 uh, police stations. So after this, after this MOU, when that, after this link, it will become a secure centralized database to stream sensitive information from set of data sources such as banks, credit cards, visa, as well as from various other intelligence agencies. So uh, what was the need for this MOU? What was the need for uh, NatGrid to access the links of the police station? So as per the present arrangements, as we know, the current agencies, they directly contact an airline or the telephone company if they are uh, on a suspect's trial. And that data is shared through international servers such as Google. So this is a security concern for India. So henceforth, this decision has been taken. So the NatGrid is about to act as a medium for at least 10 central uh, agencies such as RAW, Intelligence Bureau, etc. to assess the data in a secured platform. Moving ahead, next article we have is FastTag. Now FastTag will be mandatory for vehicle registration in India. So Ministry of Road and Transport and Highways, it has announced that fast track details, they will now be mandatory in order to register vehicles or even issue, they will have to issue the fitness certificates. So beside facilitating like smooth communication or transit would also help in checking uh, COVID-19 spread. Okay, this means that apart from facilitating smooth communication or smooth transit, this will also check the COVID-19 spread as the cash payment is avoided in the system. So the details of the electronic tools collections device are captured on Vahan portal. So under this, the details of electronic tool collection devices are captured on Vahan portal. So when we talk about uh, Vahan portal, it acts as integrated solution for vehicle registration for the state transport department. It also helps in various processes like fitness, taxes, permits and insurement to get computerized. So let's talk about FastTag now. What is FastTag? It was introduced in the year 2017. It is an electronic toll collection system, okay, with reloadable tax features, which allows automatic deduction of toll without having to stop for carrying out the uh, cash transactions, okay. So it is, operation, uh, it is operated by National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, or uh, under which is under the Ministry of Road and Transport. Okay, moving ahead next is inauguration of various new economic uh, corridors project in Haryana. So our Union Minister for Road, Transport, Highways and MSMEs, Sri uh, Nitin Gadkiri ji, he has inaugurated and laid the foundation stones for various highway projects in Haryana. So it will be a part of new economic corridor which will be worth over 20,000 crore and this is to be done in Haryana. So under this, there are several projects. I've mentioned few. So these projects will be 35.45 km four lane Rohana Hasangar to Jhajjar section, um, which will be under NH33 4B cost, which, is, which will be costing rupees 1183 crores. And second will be 70 km four lane Punjab Haryana border to Jhin uh, section. And third will be 85.36 km to lane with paved shoulders Jhin Karnal Highway and all, so all these will be inaugurated. Uh, these projects, they will benefit people of Haryana in a big way by providing smooth connectivity within state and as well as to other states like Punjab, Rajasthan, Delhi and Uttar Pradesh. So this project will also save some time, fuels, cost as also boost development in the backward areas of the state. Okay guys, so uh, I'll be telling you now the current COVID-19 situation in India as per 13th July 2020. So uh, the active cases they've reached to 3 lakhs, um, 16,009. The cured have also increased and the cured have reached to 5 lakhs, 53,470. And that's our count is 23,174. Okay guys, so it is a quiz time now. Uh, try to answer these questions. So the first question is, as per the recent judgment by Supreme Court, disabled are entitled to same benefits of SC, STs, OBCs or both, A and B. 
So the correct answer will be SC and ST, both. Next question is, which of the following is mandatory for the vehicle registration in India? So the correct answer will be A, fast tag. Okay, next question is, fast tag was introduced in which year? So the correct answer is 2017. Next is, fast tag is operated by which of the following? National Highway Authority of India, Ministry of Electronics, Information Technology, Niti Ayo, Ministry of Shipping. So the correct answer is National Highway Authority of India, which is under Ministry of Road and Transport. Okay guys, so now it is time for question of the day. So question for you is what is the significance of the National Intelligence Grid? So we discussed about NAT grid in this session. So I would like to know that how many of you know about the significance of the National Intelligence Grid? Just try to answer this in the comment section and we'll definitely talk about this in detail in the next session. For that, you will have to stay tuned. Till then, work hard. Jai Hind.